Hello and welcome to Life in Excel, The Essentials. So, pretty much this is going to be a uh, five-part course that I've created. And I'm going to be talking a little bit about charts and graphs and not pivot charts, that's going to be another one, but um, pretty much like the basics of Excel, we're going to be doing a little bit of equations and stuff like that just to get you, just to get you like a little taste of Excel. That way you can kind of impress your boss or whatever, just maybe do some fun things at home yourself. But um, right here we'll have charts, I'll show you guys later how to make that. And right here we have um, a table, I forgot what it was called for a second, yeah. But we'll go over how to make both of those, uh, so let's get started. Uh, there we are. So this is the Life in Excel presentation module. There's only going to be about 25% of the course in, uh, in PowerPoint. The other 75% will pretty much be exercises that will actually be in Excel showing you what to do, what I'm doing, and then there'll be um, some exercises as well, and it'll end with a final, kind of like um, like a college final, I don't want to say that, but pretty much just like a something so you know what you're doing at the end. Um, here's going to be the roadmap, so pretty much I broke each lesson down, instead of lesson I say number, because, you know, why not? But we're going to be focusing on number one today, which is very brief history, Excel today, data in Excel, spreadsheets, and the user interface of Excel. And um, yeah, let's get into it. So what is Excel? Well, Excel is a program that allows you to create and manipulate data using spreadsheets, data being anything from sales data to any, um, literally any finance data, any like pretty much anything could be data, like the number of times you open a door or close a door, anything like that could be data, location data. There's a lot of different types of data that, that you could be um, putting in Excel. So I broke the word down for you too. Uh, we have spread, which is a newspaper or magazine covering two pages acting as one. So that's why you see spreadsheets that are pretty long. They can go on forever pretty much. And then sheet is a um, piece of paper, obviously. I, I couldn't find a better definition for that, so I just put that. So pretty much a spreadsheet is a long piece of paper that I guess has data on it in our case. And they were, or still are used in ledgers for accounting. The ledger itself is a, um, a spreadsheet, so you can still find those in paper form, like a Staples or something. People like to use those still. I prefer spreadsheets in Excel, so hey, if you're one of those people, maybe you bought this course because you're like, you know what? I want to try to use Excel and hope at the end of it I'll get you to use Excel and you'll be super comfortable with it. First we're going to do a little brief history. I know you might be like, oh, I don't know why I need to know this. I'm just going to forget it. Well, I don't know. I just think it's kind of cool. So um, one of the first spreadsheet programs was VisiCalc. I think that was the first one actually. And it was created for the Apple II by VisiCorp. And it was pretty limited. Only supported a few rows and columns actually. So I think it only had about... I want to say maybe 12 or something. It wasn't, it wasn't many, so it was just a little program to kind of introduce a digital spreadsheet to the world. And there were several others created. I'll go through. I have a screenshot of each one of them. But Excel was created in 1897, and it was actually created first for the Macintosh and then created for the PC later, which I think is kind of funny for the whole Mac and PC kind of thing. So... One of the, uh, um, like I mentioned, this is VisiCalc. That's a little screenshot of it. As you can see, it's got like some basic info here, and then you have a quantity, and then a unit price, and then the cost, and it all kind of all kind of flows down there. I'll show you in one of the um, one of the videos of how to do something like this. But it's pretty easy to do something like that. So it must have been impressive at that time. Now it's kind of like, okay, cool. That's that's something pretty easy. Lotus was another one. That one was developed by IBM. As you can see, there's a little bit more data in here, a little bit more options too. You have kind of things up here, and uh, that's the name of the spreadsheet, I'm assuming, and then you have all your data in there. You have Lucid, which was another one, pretty basic as well. Um, you got some numerical data, some numbers there, and you just have a new file. So, I mean, if it worked for whatever, I guess someone was using it in 2015, so that's, that's pretty cool. Good for them. And the other one was SuperCal. It was developed by Sor Sorkin or something like that. But um, as you can see, you've got your data up here as well. This one has uh, some months involved, a little bit of uh, categories in there. And you can kind of see a little bit of information about the spreadsheet down there. So 
nothing too too impressive but now we have excel which is like the big thing that everyone uses there are a few other ones which i'll touch on real quick but i think the reason most people use excel is pretty much because of the look and functionality of it it's got a lot of functions it's got all kinds of options and i think the big one is the ribbon menus which a lot of people like that'll be in the um in the second lecture after this i'll be going over each ribbon but um if you don't have excel you can go visit their website right here it's a office product so pretty much you can purchase it i think it's like 10 bucks a month or something and you get word and powerpoint with that as well so it's not a bad deal it's pretty affordable so but just wanted to let you know that we are going to be using excel for the remainder of this course there are a few other ones that might work i'm not sure if they'll have all the functions that we'll be doing but if you can't afford or don't feel like paying for excel or if you don't have it um you can also use an open source calculator or open source calc is what it's called and it's available through libreoffice or apache open office they're two separate companies um they just kind of have like their own fork their own developing of it so there's that as well there's coral quattro pro which you can use as well that one's created by coro and it's kind of um kind of like a separate program it's more or less like what microsoft offers with their um with their word suit alrighty so now i'm going to go over the two types of data that are going to be used in excel and pretty much any type of um data or anything uh... so there's categorical data and i found this cute little graph it's got uh... it's got a bird a seahorse and a t-rex and as you can see each one of these little underlined ones is actually a set of data or a piece of data so here we have the bird, seahorse, and T-Rex, those are animals. The yellow, orange, and green being colors, awesome, super, super awesome, and extinct being the um, different types. And then you're going to have your numer numerical data, excuse me, which is pretty much um, numbers. <laughs> so right here, forget about this, pretend this isn't here, that is, um, that's our, numer or our categorical, categorical data, like we just mentioned. Right here is what we're going to be looking at um, pretty much numerical data is going to be counting something or measuring something. In this case we're counting um, the amount of pollen I guess or measuring the amount of pollen and then measuring the amount of time so it's going to be something like that. Your numerical data could pretty much be anything from um, number of cars sold, the snacks I have in my bag or even like the times you sneeze per day so it can pretty much be anything and there's just a lot of things that you can use for data out there. Um, so here's our rows, columns, and cells. It gets a little confusing sometimes, so how I like to think of it is rows is like your rows in church, like you have different rows, like a row here, and then a row here, a row here. Columns is like, kind of like Roman columns, for some reason I keep thinking of that, is like you have those big white columns going down, so it's something like that. And then cells are like your human cells. I don't know, I couldn't think of anything fun for that, so your cell is going to be the combination of those two. And then this is going to be a little screenshot of the Excel user face, so pretty much like we just mentioned. Your rows are going to be right here. Not very straight up pointing. <laughs> but yeah, that's your row, that's your column, and then say you're looking for like D3 or something, bam, right there, that's going to be your cell. So another thing in Excel as well is going to be the um, the ribbons up here. I'll go very in-depth with these in the next lesson so we know exactly what we're doing. But pretty much your ribbons are going to be the easiest way to do anything in Excel. Uh, you have insert, page layout, all these fun ones. You have all these options. It might look kind of crazy if you're new to Excel right now. If you're a seasoned user, you'll be like, oh, I know, I know what these are. But um, I'll, I'll make sure that I go over each one of these and how to use it. So... That way you'll be able to figure out what we're actually doing. So um, this pretty much covers the first lecture. It's not too bad, like I said. I just wanted to mention a few more things. Um, Excel is like the spreadsheet program that's used for many operations, like I mentioned before. There's a lot of real-world applications, like stock managing, event planning. I use mine for personal finances. I'll do a little um, a mini, mini course that I'll be selling soon eventually for personal finances. And um, yeah, like I said in the next video, I'll expand on the ribbons and describe what the function of each one is. So um, yeah, thanks for watching.